the Pope John Paul II said the future starts today, not tomorrow. Hopefully, your future starts today and you're going to be able to experience an even better future in your personal life, in your professional life, with information about to share with you. This is your buddy here, Roberto Monaco, with, you know, Influenceology. I personally believe there is a massive trend right now impacting small business, big business, salespeople, entrepreneurs, even CEOs. Is massive. I have a crystal ball. I can see the future. Now, this trend is what I call presentation versatility, which is one's capacity to communicate his or her message using different presentation vehicles or formats. Now, presentation versatility is different than presentation flexibility. When you're doing a presentation, for example, and something's not working, you gotta change your approach. That's what I call presentation flexibility. This video, though, is about presentation versatility because it's a trend that is impacting every single successful entrepreneur, business owner, and I'm sure it's impacting you at some level. Now, this is like really powerful stuff. I get so excited. Most people, most entrepreneurs have mastered their one-on-one -on -one presentation, their capacity to sell their products or services because ultimately boils down to the last conversation for most people, the presentation that you have. So most people are very effective doing the one-on-one -on -one presentation. But I want to give a quick metaphor here to make my point very clear. Now, let's say you want to learn boxing and you become a really good boxer. And then you go to a real fight. Someone says, hey, you want to fight that guy? You say, yeah, I want to fight that guy. And you start fighting. And if you're a really good boxer, you can do very well. Boxing was a very popular sport. Still a very popular sport. But the last, I don't know, 10 years, something else came up. Huh? And what came up is MMA or mixed martial arts. Because in mixed martial arts, not only they know boxing, not only they know grappling, but they know jiu-jitsu and they know kickboxing. Now, let me ask you this. If they want to fight, who do you think is going to win? The boxer or the MMA fighter? Who do you think is going to win? I bet my money that 9 out of 10... The MMA fighter is always going to win. Why? Because that person has more range, more versatility. That person can what? Can punch, can elbow, can kick, can grappling, can do jiu-jitsu. The boxer could be really good but has just one way to communicate or one way to fight. That's a, a little analogy here for you is that the, the boxer is the guy who does one-on-one -on -one presentation. Can be very good but just one representing. And the MMA fighter is the guy who does the one-on-one -on -one presentation, does the video presentation, does the teleconference call, does the webinar. He has more versatility when presenting. And that's the, the message that I want to drive to you today. Now, of course, I know and you know that one-on-one -on -one presentations are extremely important. Of course, I don't have to say that. But my message here for you today is this one. You also got to learn how to become very effective doing small group presentations. Not only small group presentations, but guess what? Also, I want to encourage you guys to be in front of large groups of people. There's always opportunity there. I speak for in front of like 100 people, 200 people, 1,000 people. There's always opportunities if you search for. Not only small groups, big groups, of course, video marketing, doing video presentations still, guys, Still to this day, most people are not doing video marketing consistently and effectively. Not only encourage you guys to do digital presentations, but guess what? To do presentations in small mastermind groups when you exchange information and you challenge people and you challenge yourself. I encourage you guys to do mastermind presentations. I also encourage you to do webinar presentations. How many webinars literally have you done this year? How many? I encourage you guys to do it. It's pretty much free. You can do it. You can grow your client base. You can get more clients. You can increase leads. You got to be doing webinar presentations. 
Also, I encourage you guys to do screen capture presentations. It's a different type of technology. The one I'm using right here, right now, I have my slides going and I'm recording a video for you. Different, ty different type of video than just talking head. I encourage you guys to do it. Are you doing that consistently? We, some people call screencast presentations. Another type of presentation I, I encourage you guys to do is this one. Interview presentations using Skype technology is free. You can do it. It's very simple. It's available to anybody to interview referral partners, prospective clients, testimonials. It's a digital presentation. You gotta learn how to do that. You see, there's a variety of presentation tools for you available right there. How about whiteboard? Are you effective using whiteboard? Some successful speakers they do whiteboard presentations in small groups and large settings. Another way, another format to communicate your message. You can see I can go on and on and on and on and on about the opportunities for you. You can do radio presentations, you can do TV presentations, you can do teleseminar presentations, you can do podcast presentations, there's all different venues for you to communicate your message to more people. Now, I want to give you three quick principles here because I want to make sure this video doesn't get too long. Number one, that different presentation vehicles or formats require different strategies. That's really important. It's not the same thing. For example, when I'm doing live public speaking in front of like 500 people or 50 people, I like to open a presentation with the stories because the stories hook people in. However, stories take time, sometimes two minutes or a minute, three minutes. When I'm doing video presentation, for example, people don't watch video that long. They decide maybe in six, seven seconds, I'm gonna watch this or not. So most of my videos, I never open my video presentation with story. I try to engage using a prop, maybe a question, a quote of statistics, but I don't use the stories because the stories take too long. See, different presentation vehicles require different strategies. The second quick point here I want to make is this one, is that yes, you can be very effective and learn all these different presentation vehicles, all of them. Anybody, anybody can learn, it's not hard. One of our clients that is in our mental program right now in three months, He's a machine though. He recorded 53 videos and made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on YouTube alone, videos. And prior to three months, he never recorded any video. In three months, 53 videos, thousands and thousands of dollars, new clients using a different presentation vehicle. He had the message, he just communicate now using a different uh, format. And the third point I wanna make is this one. It's about your clients. Really, it's not about you. It's about your clients and your prospective clients. Let me give a little analogy here. Let's say you want to go fishing. Then, what are you going to use for bait? Worms, right? Question. Do you eat worms? Do you like worms? No, you don't. But do you use them? Yes. Why? To catch fish because the fish likes it. Well, nowadays, Guess what? People love webinars because they don't have to travel. They can watch webinar from their office their home. People love videos because that's how they consume information. As a matter of fact, Americans today, 182 million Americans watch an average 22.3 hours of video per month, more than TV. Think about that. So they are consuming information differently. The question is, are you communicating your expertise differently? Or you're like the old guys old girls communicating the same old way that you're communicating 20 years ago. If you are, I have bad news for you. I'm going to be left behind because people are consuming information differently. I'm not trying to scare you. Hey, just look at statistics. Look at the trend, how people consume information. That's why it's not about you. It's about your clients. If you really care about your clients, you have to learn how to communicate differently. The same message using different vehicles and different formats. Now, if you want to learn more about us, you know where to find us. But before I have a quote for you, I never think of the future. It comes soon enough. Einstein said that, right? The future is already here. Webinars are here. Video marketing is here. Screencast is here. So podcast is here. So start using this communication presentation methodologies immediately. There's way more, but I don't want to make sure this video here doesn't get too long. Please leave your comments. I would love to help you. And feel free to follow us, to share these videos, to come and hang out in one of our events. More research for you at influenceology.com.